So we're going to find ourselves a seat. Now, it's a little going to be a little hard for me to guide today because <clears throat> even when I'm talking about rest, I'm focusing on it so intently as I'm describing it to you that I get very quiet. And in some ways, the most important guide here would be just to sort of get a taste of what I'm experiencing right now just by observing, by being present with me. And I will try and guide, but there is a way that humans are in sync with each other. And there is a large amount of rest in my experience right now. And so you want to do, at the beginning of meditation, you want to develop a, a little opening meditation that works for you, a way that gets you grounded and present with some regularity. So for instance, feeling the seat is the one way I usually guide, or feeling the breath in the belly. That's sort of how Ajishanti will start a meditation. But it could be feeling the breath in your nose, or it could be going directly to rest or anything that works for you to bring you in as close as you can to the present moment. That is the present sensory experience with as much relaxation and restfulness as possible. Not in a battle with where you are, because you may come to meditation agitated. So the question is, how can I be present with that, with this present moment experience, even if it's an agitated experience? You feel into a sense, some kind of concrete sensory experience of the present moment, ideally a resource-oriented one. You can also feel into the silence or quiet in your body. So one way of doing this is to begin by focusing on rest states. Where is your body feel at rest? Maybe it is the skin on your cheeks or lips or hands. Maybe it is inside your spine or your bones. Maybe it is the blank behind the eyelids. Today I'm going to invite, we're going to focus on the rest in the ears. There are lots of ways to focus on rest. So we're just going to focus in today on auditory rest. If you go back through the YouTube channel, there's, there's other rest meditations you can find to practice. But to get us started, listen to the sounds in your environment. My voice will be a prominent one because you are probably attending to what I say. And then you can notice when it goes away. That is noticing a gone. If you remember meditation from last week, gone. There goes the voice, gone. But notice all the other sounds in your environment. It's raining here, so I hear cars come and go through the rainy streets. I hear the fire off to my right. Make sure today that you're noticing the flowing, changing aspect of auditory the auditory realm. That will prep you for noticing the gone and then the rest that comes after. So my voice is constantly changing. And you can hear when my voice ends. But you can also hear when the consonant ends or the syllable ends. You have to pay very close attention to be present with those endings, but those are all gones as well. Right now we are focusing on here. If you were doing this on your own, you could be labeling these all here in your mind, here, here. 
So the car came in and then it went away, gone. The fire was crackling, the crackle popped and then went away. So you're opening your aperture wide so that you can hear your entire environment. You're noticing the flowing and disappearing nature of sound. Now, can you turn your attention just to the silence itself? So with a little bit of concentration effort, you let go of the activated sounds, the sounds of things happening in the world, including my voice, and you pay attention to maybe the inner ear area where you can hear the white noise in your ears of silence. Rest. That noise is always there. Even if you're not noticing it, it's always available for you to go look at. So even when you hear my voice, when it goes away, boom, you can hear the rest. Or maybe you can even hear it as I'm talking to you. Can you hold on to the sound of white noise in the ears, even as I talk to you? Requires greater concentration and ultimately more familiarity with the rest state in the auditory realm. As always, we want to experience this as it is. So have curiosity, get clarity with the experience. There's a pitch to the white noise in your ears. There's a vibration. It kind of comes in waves. Get very interested. Where does it feel like it's coming from? Are you noticing in the left or the right or both? Where where does where do those sounds end and begin? Now, that is a very powerful meditation to continue for a normal 30-minute sit. It's a great resource. But we're going to start moving into the interior auditory space as well. You can continue focusing on the auditory rest in the ears, but I want you to also be open to your thoughts, the sound of your thoughts. So the car goes by. But your mind, my mind might also say something to myself. The mind is very noisy. I want you to expand the rest experience to notice the silence in the room around you. So even if there is noise, like my voice, you can notice that the couch is quiet. Listen to the couch or your chair or the table or your computer, whatever. Listen to these things. Just listen that over there, there's real silence, real rest. So you've got the rest in the ears, but you've also got this silence that permeates the room wherever the sounds aren't arising.
This is also true of the mind. So listen to the interior of your head. And even if there's some talk thoughts, notice that around that space where the thoughts are arising, there is silence. Okay, and now we hear the thoughts and can we notice any moment that the thoughts disappear back into that rest? It can just be for a microsecond, but can you notice when the thought, like my voice, goes away? without trying to make anything happen. So we're practicing a complete experience of our auditory realm right now. Can you hear everything that's happening in, inside, and out, including the silence and rest? This on its own is a very powerful meditation. We are mixing in and out. So we're learning to dissolve the distinction between our interior idea of ourself and the outer world. And we're mixing activation and rest. So we are Allowing ourselves to experience the reality of the relationship between restfulness and activation. And for all those people who are trying to meditate to quiet the mind, you will notice a mind, a moment, a moment, it might be a micro moment when the mind goes quiet. Like, oh, I don't even have to do anything. The mind will go quiet on its own. And even when it's really noisy, there's quiet all around the mind, all around the talking. There's mind quiet even when there's talking.
You may, of course, continue with this part of the practice as long as you want. But I'm going to invite us now to switch to open awareness, as we learned a couple of weeks ago, meaning your attention now is no longer going to be controlled. It can go in and out, and it can go in see, hear, and feel. So any part of your experience. Now, normally we would label that see, hear, feel. Today we're going to label it three, two, one, zero. This is going to allow us to expand our sense. So it's going to be labeled three if you notice thoughts in the picture realm, the auditory realm, and the feeling realm all at the same time. You feel something emotional, you say something in your head, and you see something in your head. You're going to label it two. If you only have two of those three, you're noticing only two of those three, just what you notice. You label it one if you're only noticing one of those three. And you'll label it zero if you're not noticing anything interior. So we're going to do this open awareness on the interior space. It's okay if you want to include the exterior space, but we're only labeling what's happening in our interior space. So it might sound like this. One. One. Two. Two. So we may have emotional feeling in anywhere in our body, but mostly across the front of our torso from the lower belly all the way up to the face, top of the head. We often have talk thoughts somewhere in the middle of our head. And picture thoughts on the screen of our mind often are in the forehead or behind the eyes. And we're opening our awareness to allow all those three areas to be present. And we're just noticing when they're on and when they're off. To help with this practice, make sure you're tuning into the flow of things. So even when you notice that there's something on, notice that it's changing. Even if you have an emotional feel, notice that it's changing. If it goes away, you can notice the rest afterwards.
when you begin this kind of meditation, you'll probably be seeing a lot of ones and twos. You'd have a wider aperture to see the threes, really being awake in a wide way. And then eventually you'll notice a zero, but maybe not today. Practicing clarity and acceptance here. Seeing what's happening as it's happening without judgment. We're not trying to create anything at all. We're just noticing how things move within us. This is a powerful kind of sorcery to get to know yourself in this much detail. Okay, in order to sort of wind up here, let's go back to resource. If you're already feeling very peaceful in this practice, just keep doing it. But we can emphasize or strengthen that experience by really focusing on rest again, maybe in the ears. You could add rest behind the eyes, the blank behind the eyelids. You could pick a part of your body that feels at rest. So you could do all three or just one or two. But now, instead of having open awareness, we're controlling our concentration a little bit more to focus in on the rest states themselves.
Okay, pick one of these rest states and I'm gonna to count to 10. Try and increase your concentration to notice this rest state every number I count. Seeing if you can't spend 10 whole seconds focused. So pick the rest state you wanna focus on, auditory, visual, feel a particular part of the body, a particular ear, whatever you want. Taste the experience in the present moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's where I'm going to end the guidance for today. You are welcome to continue sitting. When you stop sitting, allow your body to move how it wants. You may notice no desires, then notice that that is rest in the desire space. And then notice when a desire arises to move or stretch and allow it to happen without judgment. Stillness is not better than movement. It's just that we overemphasize it. So we overemphasize the movement. So it's important to notice that stillness but then to remind ourselves that the movement is okay as well. Okay, come back next week for num week number nine, where we're going to start working on direct path meditations. It's going to get a little more trippy. <laughs>